morning children now today you have chemistry and the chapter we are doing is elements and compounds so today i'm going to discuss symbols of elements well just to have an idea of the word symbol now you know we all have our names and when we write our names we write our full names right but sometimes in some cases we have to write our names in short form which we call it our signature so just by looking at the signature uh, the person or the other people will come to know that 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 signature is the signature of a particular person isn't it so that means signature represents the particular person or signature they represents our names so just how the signature represents the name of a person in the same way symbols represents the elements by just checking or by looking at the symbols we will come to know which element is that so the symbols it is actually suggested by the swedish chemist uh, john jacob berzelius okay so what do you mean by symbols of elements or how do you define the symbols of an element so actually symbols of elements it is a one letter or two letter abbreviation of its full form okay and the symbol of elements are represented either by one letter or by two letters so when we write the symbols of elements there are some points you need to remember which you need to follow okay so what are those points in the first case what happens uh, we when we write the symbols of elements we will take the first letter of the from the name of that element say for example i have written here the names of three elements out here hydrogen boron and nitrogen so if you check the first letter of hydrogen h is the first letter in case of hydrogen so when you write the symbol of hydrogen we will take the first letter this is rule number 1 so we will take the first letter of the element h so when you write h capital h by looking at this we will come to know that this is the symbol of the element hydrogen okay and the next example is boron where the first letter is b so when you write the symbol of these element boron then we will write the first letter that is b which means boron then the next element is nitrogen where the first letter is n so to write the symbol of nitrogen we will take the first letter n and it by writing n we will come to know that this is the element nitrogen this is the first point which you need to remember when you write the symbols of elements okay then comes the second point now in second point in some cases there are some elements okay which has the same first letter so if you check the names of the elements out here then there are calcium chlorine and cobalt and if you check the first letter all these elements they have c c is the first letter which is common to all the names of the elements so what are you going to do in that case in that case when you write the symbols of elements you will take the first letter followed by the second letter where the second letter is not common so here the when you write here calcium is an element so when you write the symbol of calcium then you will write you will take the first letter c then the second letter is a so you need to write two letters c a so c a is the symbol of the element calcium now the second element is chlorine where the first letter is again c only so in that case take the second letter it is h which is not common so you will write sorry c second letter is c l so you will write c l c l is the symbol of the element chlorine then comes the third 
element here is cobalt where the first letter is again C only. So when you write the symbol of this element then you will take the first letter followed by the second letter O, C O which is the symbol of cobalt. Okay. Then comes the third point. Now in this case, in some cases, the symbols of elements are derived from the Latin names. So in that case, you will not take the first letter, but we have to take the first letter or the second letter from their Latin names. So say for example, sodium is an element the English name what we can say is sodium but the name of these this sodium is derived the name of this element is derived from the Latin name natrium so when you write the symbol of sodium we will not write s but we will take the first and the second letter two letters of Latin names which is natrium so when you write the symbol of sodium you will write Na. Na is the symbol of the element sodium but we will not take S, we will take the name from their Latin names. Alright, then the next example is potassium where the first letter is P but you cannot write the symbol of potassium as P but potassium is also derived from the Latin name which is callium. So when you write the symbol of potassium, take the first letter from its Latin name callium which is K. So K is the symbol of the element potassium. Then the next example is iron. Iron where I is the first letter but iron is also derived from the Latin name which is ferrum where F is the first letter and E is the second letter. So when you write the symbol of iron, take the first and the second letter from the Latin names which is Fe. So Fe is the symbol of the element iron. So these are the three rules which you need to remember when you write the symbols of elements. Then comes the importance of the symbols of elements. Why, what, uh, why uh, the uh, element, I mean symbols are really important. What is the significance of the uh, symbols of elements? Now there are two main importance of symbols of elements. Number one, these uh, symbols will represent the names of elements. Through the symbol we will come to know the elements, right? And the second importance is it will let us know, I mean it will give us the idea of the number of atoms of an element. So this is all about the symbols of elements and children on page 16. I want all of you to go through table 2.4 which is the names and the symbols